Okay, so today I just like to review this um, pair of hunting boots that I just got. I was on the lookout for a, a new insulated pair for quite a while and um, uh, kind of narrowed down my choice to powder horn danners. So they're, they're mid-range um, mid priced hunting boot from Danner. Still very very good quality but not not as much uh, money as their top-of-the-line boots. Although I'm not sure why this wouldn't be considered their top quality boots. Um, they're fully stitched. You can see they can be resold um, if you wear out the sole. Full grain leather, very very good quality. You can you can tell how you know how thick and uh, soft it is. Um, uh, huge track on the soles. These are fairly new. I only been out with them once, just to try it out. Like every new hunting boot, I'm gonna wear it around my house and outdoors a little bit here and there until I break it in and what I like to do is I like to wear them for a few times so that they crease and then I'll oil them and uh, kind of set that crease more permanently so that they fully mold to my shoes to my feet sorry um, so quick thing this is an insulated 400 gram insulation, insulated pair. Very warm. Um, I was looking for a boot that's not as heavy and bulky as a thousand gram insulation, so 400 is kind of what I'm what I'm looking for. That's that's about perfect amount of uh, weight to insulation ratio, and the thick soles also help. This is actually quite soft. You can see my, my finger pushing this part, although this rubber is pretty hard. So they're very comfortable, very comfortable walking. Um, for a hunting, hunting boot in this season, sort of uh, late season and uh, mountain hunting, I like to have a boot that has a a substantial heel. A lot of times it's easy to travel up but traveling down, down the mountain, down you know uh, rocky slopes or slippery slopes you need to dig your heels and I would almost almost want to put something metal on the heel of it. I, I might try that later but almost like a little horseshoe, you know, to shoe up the, the heel of the boot and that makes it really grippy and also you can dig it in really hard. Um, again, for the purpose of hunting in the mountains, I like my boots to be 10 inches at least and not, not as tall as a, you might find snake boots, but uh, this is 10 inch that's that's about perfect for what I'm looking for with insulation and you know it's a thick padded boot it weighs uh, just over a kilo so it's just over 10 pound oh, um, over a pound I'm sorry I'll show you on the scale So it's uh, 1.1 1 .1 and let's see, that's 2.7, oh, 2.07 pounds. So it's, it sounds hefty, but it doesn't feel, um, doesn't feel that substantial on your feet. Uh, just for 
for the sake of comparison, I'll show you my um, early and mid-season boot. I've had these uh, Zolos for quite a while. They're well worn. And this boot is one point one three five pounds or eight hundred and forty eight grams, so three quarters of a pound less. It is a very light and comfortable boot, and I it's you know my definitely my favorite hiker in early and mid season. But my feet do get cold in it, and especially if uh, if I'm in the tree stand or something like that. That's um, late season. It's it's not as good. It, my feet get cold, and it's fairly tight size wise. It's um, 11, and I think over over the years it actually feels like it shrunk, and. It's it, there's just not a lot of room for um, hot toes or any kind of a liner. With the Danners, the the one thing I kind of followed the reviews of other buyers on Amazon and other places and bought eleven and a half size. I normally wear size eleven, so eleven and a half is is just about right. For for a slightly thicker sock and I might want to add a an insole to this. I'll show you the ones that Danner supplies. It's they call it Ortholite. It has a, a bouncy little heel. But basically no I mean this is just paper. There's no arch support that that I can find, or I usually like to have a substantial arch support in my boots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, another insole, probably take that one out and get uh, more of a orthopedic style, a lot more comfortable, and I still have room for um, hiking socks and this should be just about perfect. Um, this is February now, and it's we got some some pretty cold weather out right now. Um, I took out a I took them out for a walk in about uh, 20 below, and within an hour walking, I didn't really feel any any difference. I didn't feel any cold. Uh, I'm sure that that would be different in five hours or or longer or four hours sitting in the stand but so far so good I'm I'm happy with, uh, with how comfortable they are and with their insulation performance and yeah another thing I would say the laces I'm gonna probably see if I can upgrade these laces they're very thin they're fairly quick to lace, but they just they just feel that they're too thin for for the kind of boot that it is. And yeah, I think I'd like something a little bit more durable and and thicker, more comfortable to lace. Other than that, I think for for the money, that's I found to be one of the best boots on the market. Um, I was able to get them. On Amazon for 181 Canadian which is it's quite incredible uh, the best price for a long time uh, I found was about 250 US and I was ready to buy them at that price but um, this sale happened to to be on and I jumped on it um, I've been looking at them for about a year just uh, checking the prices and reading reviews and trying boots in the stores but I didn't have a chance to try them anywhere locally so I bought them sight unseen um, just based on you know Danner's reputation and the reviews that I've read and I'm really happy um, I think uh, this, is, this is a good purchase good boot for the price 
uh, highly recommend it. I will probably update um, update this review in some time, maybe next year or after spring hunting season. Bear season is coming up. Uh, we start April 1st and a lot of places uh, up in the mountains it's still covered in snow so it'll be a perfect time to test it out. So I'll let you guys know and so far uh, highly recommended Danner's Powderhorn and you can find it on Amazon around 200 bucks plus minus that's a great deal. Alright have a good one and uh, until next time